In my film, I will be talking about stabilization wedges, climate change and impacts and on Shenyang City. What is climate change? The Earth climate nowadays is changing very rapidly and differently. Climate change is seasonal changes for a long period of time in the world. These climate patterns play an important role in shaping natural ecosystems and humans that depend on them. There are two main causes of climate changes, being natural causes and human activities. The natural causes have influenced the Earth's climates, such as volcanic eruptions, ocean currents, the Earth's orbital changes and solar variations. Furthermore, ocean currents is one of the natural causes affecting climate changes. Another main cause that leads to climate change is human activities. Natural resources are being extensively used for construction, industries, transport and consumption. All these contribute to the rises of greenhouse gases such as methane and nitrous oxide in the atmosphere. Humans are generating industries, factories and houses and running vehicles that use many fossil fuels such as coal, oil and natural gases. These uses of fossil fuels lead to climate changes. Shenyang is the provisional capital and largest city of Liaoning province as well as the largest city in the northeast of China. Shenyang is an important industrial center in China and serves as the transportation and commercial hub of China and is also most famous for its heavy industry manufacturing. Shenyang has a population of 8.1 million people and its urban population of 5.74 million people and is among the top 10 largest cities in China. The city is served by the Shenyang Toexin International Airport and is one of the eight major hubs and the 20th busiest airport in China. The major causes of air pollution in Shenyang according to the Environmental Protection Bureau is 30% is 30% coal used for heating and is the source of air pollution in Shenyang. Other major factors include 20% dust from construction sites, 20% from vehicle exhaust, 20% from industrial emissions and 10% from extra territorial dust. 10 million metric tons of coal cons consumed by the city in 2013-2014 was used during the winter for heating purposes. Shenyang is the center of heavy industry manufacturing and solid industrial foundation and the carbon emissions from the fossil fuels burning of metal works at steel factories are projected to double in the next 50 years, keeping the world to more than triple the atmosphere's carbon dioxide concentration from its pre-industrial level. The climate change impacts on Shenyang are the weather extremities, sea level rising and the threat to food securities. Effects of heavy smog in the air caused by stone coal plants. Shenyang also faces the effects of pests and forest fires. Climate research has shown that the city in China is very sensitive to global warming and is also one of the most significant warming areas in China. The forest ecosystems in Shenyang are extremely sensitive to climate change and its impacts. Climate change has changed forest dynamics and vegetation trends in Shenyang. Future climate changes may lead to the, to the northern deciduous needle forest moving out of China's territory altogether. Furthermore, stabilization wedges is a concept with a simple tool for conveying the emissions that can be made to avoid dramatic climate change in the future. There are 15 strategies divided into four categories and I will be discussing and elaborating on which strategies according to the wedges Shenyang has taken an initiative on to reduce further global carbon emissions. Shenyang has taken measures to reduce carbon emissions from, from four major categories from the sustainable wedges being efficiency conservation, 
nuclear energy and fossil fuel based strategies as well as renewable bio storage. Shenyang replaced 1,400 coal electrical plants with natural gas powered facilities. They have used 40,000 square kilometers of solar panels, which is about 4 million windmills, to produce hydrogen for fuel cell cars. They have increased production by 12 times to creating biomass plantations with areas that equal to one-sixth of the world's cropland. They have eliminated tropical deforestation. Shenyang has produced hydrogen from coal at six times on today's rate and store the captured CO2. They also have replaced 1,400 coal electric plants with natural gas powered facilities and capture and store emissions from 800 coal electric plants. Shenyang emerged as a leader in environmental improvement as Shenyang had removed all traces of heavy industry from its core by 2010. Its factories represented China's home to industrial base and heavy machinery manufacturing. However, that is no longer true as the equipment was rusted and the management systems were bloated and inefficient. Hundreds of factories were closed down, decreasing soot and air pollution that these factories contributed to air pollution in Shenyang. China is a world leader in wind power generation with the largest installed capacity of any nation and continues with its rapid growth in new wind facilities. China has identified wind power as a key growth component. They have pledged to produce 15% of all electricity from renewable resources. Shanghai's forecast is to have 250 watts of wind capacity by the year 2020. Shenyang's Energy Bureau had planned to reach 20 MKW in wind capacity by the year 2010. However, they met the target directly by 2009 and since then the number has been increasing. New strategies will be needed to address both fuel and electricity needs and some which strategies compete with others to replace emissions from the same source. Shenyang already has the technology to take the world off the path toward dramatic climate change as they have made progress at the same rate with the world to find technologies that limit little to no carbon plus they have developed the capacity for carbon storage. The Shenyang city government announced a plan to rebuild light rail transit network in 2012 and replace its tram service with buses and trolley buses. This was a strategy of transport conversation to decrease the number of miles traveled by the world's cars to be cut in half. Efficient and environmental, environmentally free expressways were built as modes of transport in Shenyang and was the first expressway built in the whole of China. Shenyang has been advocating sustainable traveling such as local rail revival, walking and cycling to reduce carbon emission from vehicles. They came upon the development of environmental technologies in the city and are increasingly popular amongst the Shenyang community such as the cycle rickshaw in Shenyang which is a solar-powered electrical cycle used as a mode of public transport. The production of BMW's Pixie plant in Shenyang sets new standards for sustainability. The Pixie plant does not only set new standards in terms of the quality of the vehicles produced, but also in terms of sustainability. It allows for particularly resource-friendly production. When it comes to energy and water consumption, the amount of waste and wastewater as well as solvent emissions, the Tixi plant is the most sustainable vehicle production site in China. Building efficiency and environmental aspects were already considered when planning the building, the single roof concept 
that houses the body in white, it lowers space requirements and facilities our energy saving and air conditioning. The Indigain Country Index summarizes a country's vulnerability to climate change and other global challenges in combination with its readiness to improve resilience to climate change. China in the Indigain Country Index is ranked 52 its vulnerability score of 0, 0,317 and with a readiness score of 0, 0,512. The low vulnerability score of China places it in the lower quadrant of the ND gain matrix. Ad adaptation challenges still exist, but China is well positioned to adapt as it's the 30th least vulnerable country and the 71 most ready country. The battle against climate change starts at the local level. Many individual cities like Shenyang in China and its communities have led the way in creating projects and initiatives that promote environmental sustainability. The city is helping and preparing for physical, social and economic challenges due to climate change. Shenyang's fight against murky smog has been ongoing for years and residents are constantly thinking of ways to combat the pollution. One of the most creative proposals is, is EcoPaint, which is a titanium dioxide plant solution that reduces the levels of nitrogen oxides in the air. Titanium dioxide literally eats the nitrogen oxide, which contributes to air pollution. The paint uses natural sunlight's UV rays of neutralized the nitrogen. Climate change is naturally occurring or hastened by man's footprints. The myth remains that there are many ways to combat climate change and they all begin with you. We all must take the responsibility for our actions and learn to live sustainably for our children, our future and our world. Extreme weather is on the rise and the indicators are that it will continue to increase in both predictable and unpredictable ways and China has already started by creating a sustainable city.